I'm gonna be painting today. I got a little camera set up, which you guys can't see, but it's where I'm pointing right now. I'm actually pointing directly at it, and it looks like I'm pointing at myself in the viewfinder of it. Um, stinky check. Like, I might sort of smell just like someone smells when they just are like alive, you know? Um, I don't really know what I'm gonna paint, which is kind of the issue. But luckily I'm working on my thing that I'm not really focused about painting good. I'll sh there you go. Working on that. Is it laggy as hell? It's probably laggy as hell, but this is the best you're gonna get right now. But once it's not plugged in, I can freely move it anywhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what a bad frame to freeze on. I don't know if I'll have enough spare like so spare, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna have to put you guys under my desk temporarily, all right? Stay safe. There might be some dust bunnies, but it's okay. There might you might bang your head a little bit, but just be careful, okay? Oh, told, oh come on guys. I told you watch your head. Ah oh, yeah. Now okay, well now it's a little bit in the way. But it works though, right? Are we still good? John help there's a spider I don't know grow up like if that's an actual fear if you fear that that spider is gonna leap on you before you leap on it and you're not taking that opportunity to murder it you would do awful in every scene every single like survival situation ever because that's like the smallest thing imagine when it's something big here's my palette I need a better palette for now this is just a sterilite uh plastic topper no my cut a piece I don't know if there's a better way to do this. I mean, like I could just set up a camera for now, like a normal webcam, just because like I am not going many places, but I just wanted this to work. And it was sort of like gonna be a test for also like future if I wanted to do, oh, hey, we're back. I'm still very new to painting. I also don't have like, I, I've been looking into heavy body acrylic paints, which I really wanna get, but who knows when I'll do those, probably here soon. Do you base your art off anyone? Uh, I mean, I guess sort of in ways, maybe not like intentionally, but I do see artists that I, uh, that I like and I'm just like, ooh, and like I try, maybe not like replicating their style, but I try sort of like doing similar things that I see them do to just see how I could like incorporate it to whatever I'm doing. Does that have a concept? Are you just painting whatever paint happening? I mean, just sort of whatever I f like feels fit at the time. You know, if I look somewhere, I'm just like, oh, it needs a little bit of this. I put it there. That's sort of what I'm doing with this. It's just like whatever, whatever feels fit it has a lot of green, but it's only really one of this green. There's a lot of just this green. Also, I feel like this should be important, but I did start it like this. I didn't start it the other way. Ooh, it's a ghost. Apparently my camera decided to freeze while I was AFK. So it's hard to paint. Um, Technically, no. You take paint, you put it on the canvas. Also, first time my pal's up here. Also, first time I've ever streamed me painting. Also, are you fucking kidding me? All right, what should we do first? You motherfucker, man, what the fuck? Did my phone die? Oh my God, I forgot I unplugged it. I forgot I unplugged phone and never to plug back in. Okay, where's my camera? I gotta go to AP cam. Fucking resolution is this motherfucker capturing it. The hell, bro? I didn't know if I wanted to stream today because I was like, oh, I feel like I feel like it's not fully set up. I want to wait till it's fully set up. But then I made myself just go ahead and do it because I always, I'm like, oh, I'm always just like wait till it's fully set up. And I now see why I put everything off because what a mess. Like, why is it so close? You guys can't even see what. It, okay. Maybe we just reorganize things. I don't know. Oh, I'm loosening that. We need it real fucking tight. Okay. Ah! Well, my mic didn't want that there. Like, this could have worked. It could have almost worked, but then Mike was a, just a, he's a nosy, in the way little bitch. What am I doing with not only this stream, but my life? I just, this is so um, obtrusive. You can't see your face. <clears throat> How about now? What should we start with? Whites mm -hmm, and a purple. Can you see my mixing? Oh, you guys can't even see the mixing. That's like half the satisfying part. Where should we put this? Or is it feeling empty? Nice, that's a nice one. Uh, but yeah, for anyone wondering what this might be, it's really nothing. It's sort of just painting whatever I feel like painting. This area feels too naked. I'm not usually this far away from my canvas. So these lines might suck dick. <laughs> Maybe this is a better, better area. Who knows what's really a better area. For me, none of it's ideal, but right now this is all for you. 
guys. Not just not anyone in particular. Maybe I could just move it with me. Uh, what else is feeling naky around here? I don't know what this is, but this. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> More red. Uh, I feel like I might eventually, but it just right now feels like there's a lot of red. I just don't know where I want to put it, which is like a lot of the tough part. Cause like, I don't even know what I'm going for. So I don't want to go over anything that maybe I'm just like, oh, I wanted that. But you know what? I started this painting by just making lines. So let's keep making lines. Wait, I don't want to make that line there. You know what? Let's make this the same as the other one. Hmm. I like that. Brings it out a bit more. Bro, this small file holds so much paint. You're blocking the view with the mic stand? Bro, shut the fuck up and literally choke on my mic stand, you dumb little c You act like you, you haven't been in here the whole entire time, so don't fucking come in here and say like I don't fucking know this shit. Shut the fuck up. No one fucking likes your ugly ass. Sorry. Um. Painting's so peaceful. I really get in my zen state. And a greenish and a yellow, and we don't have a lot of room on our palette for now, but you know what? We like it in messy-ish around here. Actually grab a nice thick one. Let's get some acrylic matte medium. Mixing paint is so satisfying. It's just like globs of it. It's just like, ah, oh, so great. Until it all gets stuck in your brush and you end up just like scraping it all out anyways. That part's a bit unfortunate usually. Who the fuck calling me? Scam likely, suck my dick likely, bitch. What does this look like? That's closer. Do I want this though? Mm -hmm. Wait, they left a voicemail. We'll go with it on bottom. That looks pretty good. Thanks. I don't know what I'm doing, but glad you like it so far. I feel like what I need to start doing now that I have like a lot of big non slightly overlapping shapes going on i feel like i need to start blocking off smaller shapes in the bigger shapes i feel like that's the next step yeah there's some black highlights in there makes it pop uh, those are usually called shadows unless you're talking about line work i don't do line work line work just feels like i had to color in the lines and i finally have grown up enough where no one tells me that i have to color inside the lines so if i'm not feeling like color inside the lines why shall i why even make lines why constrict myself to lines when I don't have to? Let's grab more white for this one side. Which you guys can't see. Fuck that person who brought it up. I know. I know it can't be seen. Shut up. That's why, look, I, it would have been able to be seen, but because my fucking IV cam, my phone ran out of battery, dog shit, I couldn't. Hmm. I'm gonna lean on you guys and block everything. What do you guys think it looks like right now? How's it looking? There we go. That's a better color, more separation. There's a lot of really wet paint here. Kind of looks like an ear so far. Hmm. I'll probably do more to this, but there's a lot of wet paint that I'm sort of just moving around. So these brushes suck, I found out. Operation fix this bitch. I should probably wait on using that until it dries. If I do 3D elements, I want like a, I want to do impasto type stuff. I want like a heavy acrylic. I don't want oil just because the oil takes forever to dry. Honestly, these small filberts, probably one of the most OP brushes you could ever get. They're so great for so many things. Like highlighting, Ugh. look at that. This is starting to look more and more like an ear. I'll be honest. This definitely is just looking like an ear. Hold on. How to get the finer edges. Got to get close for it sometimes. I need a better easel. I need a lot of better things for painting and I'll probably get them one of these days, but I don't want to over get myself into it and then have a bunch of painting shit and maybe I randomly stop liking painting. Uh, all right, we got to go, we got to move somewhere else now. Let's get some whites and then ever so little of a blue. Just kidding, that has fully dried up there in the middle. Motherfuck, I fucked that up so bad, man. I quit. We can paint the water right later if I need. I make our deep meaning? I don't know. Ask yourself. Can you see deep meaning in art? He says all art doesn't have deep meaning. I mean, like, we paint because we can't explain sometimes the words that we have. I think all paintings could have a deeper meaning if you want them to. But I also think if you go around looking for deeper meaning in paintings, you should check out my NFTs. I'm just kidding. That was deep, bro. Hey, man, you gotta, gotta market my artwork somehow, so I gotta, like, find some deep things to talk about. 
it's like in reality like obviously a lot of a lot of my work has like i don't want to say hidden things but some sort of emotion i guess put into it in some way whether or not it was because i decided to paint when i was angry or if i you know decided to paint when i was happy or i wanted to paint something that was pretty colors to make make it just look pretty and you know bring like some sort of color and vibrancy but it can also still have a deeper meaning the canvas is my life and I don't know what I'm going at here. I'm not good at marketing. You ever, ever reference other people's art while you work? I don't do it while I'm working, but I do have, I can show you guys probably here in a bit. I've like started following quite a few artists that I've been uh, finding while like browsing through NFTs and stuff. And just kind of like trying to find some dope artists to <clears throat> check out. And then I follow them on other places as well, just because it's always great to see art. Whether or not I understand it, it's always enjoyable to look at art and just un like see how the artist did it like there is some inspiration in like pretty much every art from every artist like i've probably really ever seen i've always seen like something they do that i've liked whether or not it be like you know they can do like these small images with really simple brush strokes and like little, but a lot of color changes and they you know they could just boom or they have like really good shape design or it's just you know i don't know there's like there's always something that i feel like i could pick up from looking at somebody's art i won't say all the time because it's not all the time that would be a lie but most of the time, I think inspiration comes at a time. It's like, it's like you can't really get inspired if you're not wanting to do something. I feel like you can get motivated, I guess, maybe. I feel like I know what I'm thinking, but I, I'm phrasing it really, really poorly. Like I just feel like you have to be looking for inspiration. Inspiration doesn't normally just sort of like, I'm inspired all of a sudden. I feel like you sort of have to have some sort of motivation to get inspired. I didn't sleep a lot. I need to actually go find it. I guess sort of. Maybe not go find it, but know what inspires you and like know where you find your inspiration, like what inspires you easier. Like, you know, maybe a good song just hits different than like you looking at a piece of art or something. Or maybe, you know, cooking a good ass meal for someone is your form of art or inspiration. I, maybe that's different, but it's like sort of like painting. Some people just get inspired to cook. You know, some people love cooking, but they don't want to cook. Some people want to paint, they don't want to paint. Some people want to edit, but they don't want to edit. And I think it's because we're all worn out. Everyone's worn out. We're all tired. But no one wants to take a break because we don't feel like we have time. I'm projecting. So in theory, I'm sick at art, but I can't put my emotions in it. It sucks poopy. I mean, the thing is, in a weird way, there very well could be something similar to that. Like painting or drawing might not just be the art form that like you found. Like maybe, maybe you like, maybe you enjoy music a lot more, but you just never see yourself making music or something. But maybe that's like your art form and you just don't know how to do it yet. So maybe you got to like study linguistics or like different uh, you know, maybe there's just a different way you can do it. Something like that could inspire you. I, I really wish I knew how to explain this, how my brain was thinking about it. Cause it, it's not coming out. It's not like it's coming out wrong, but it's not coming out full. There's just different art form. And sometimes you might not <clears throat> even recognize that the art form is for you yet, because maybe you're just not at a spot where it's like for you yet. Like I quit graphic design and I really thought I was never going to do like design type stuff again. But here I am like painting, which is something that it's almost like the opposite of like i feel like in graphic design you like stick to a pretty strict ish sort of like things of what you do that you look you can't like do abstract graphic design i guess it depends on what you're doing for graphic design like if you make a, a, a form signature and it can have abstract elements but i guess i'm just like thinking like designing a website you know you don't want to make an abstract website or something i don't i feel like we've sort of lost the point of what we were initially talking about at least I've lost the point. You could just not know how to do it yet. Like you might just not see it the same way as as other people, I guess. Like I saw, I see some art and I'm just like, I don't know how it reflects the emotion that I guess it's going for. But if they felt that way when they did that, then in some way they're, you know, that's how they felt, I guess. Oh, that makes you think about it. Yeah, that's like what's fun about art is like you get to just stare at a, a piece of something, something that was created by someone and sort of wonder what they were thinking while they were doing it. Cause like, I mean, I can show you guys my, I think I've, I, I know I showed you guys before my smaller collection of NFTs, but I have picked up a couple more. I mean, I just have been buying cool art pieces from the artists that I like, trying to get as many, not as many, I mean, it's not like I'm collecting, which I guess in a way I'm collecting. I don't feel like an art collector, but I guess I technically have art collected. Just some cool pieces. I want to get more, but money is, cringe 
I have like such paranoia about investing for some reason. You want to punch the canvas with your foot as hard as possible? More than you could afford because you can't even spell canvas correctly. So this is not financial advice, obviously. If you don't have the funds, don't do it. I did it from like money I had years ago that I forgot I invested. And then I found out that I remember I invested and it paid off because I kept a couple of Ethereum. Not as much as I wish I did. Because let me tell you, I could have been pretty a little bit more i wouldn't have had that much more admittedly but it is interesting i mean i think it's it's worthwhile to learn about a little bit regardless whether or not you like buy into it or not things really coming along yeah it's getting there i'm putting pieces on it it's going slowly but it's moving i still want to change this ear area and have it more contrasted i might do like a, a dark a dark green up on this ledge and then i might almost make this seem like a recess that then comes out as in this this up here is casting a shadow on this darker area planning meetups in the future most likely nar just because it's not really how i roll i'm like way too fucking cool to meet up with people honestly like at the end of the day really wish the sub to cross me lasted longer you mostly just say that because you got one on your ass, Tomoto. Like, let's be real here. But, I mean, it eventually had to, like, stop. Just because if it didn't, it almost gets annoying. It's almost like BM to go around promoting promoting it, I guess. We could try to bring it back. Time for the second come up. True, I am, I am falling off into irrelevancy at this point. This is honestly probably why my filbert brush is actually fucked. Sorry, I'm probably blocking it right now. I'm trying to get the light on it. So I'm sort of standing in an area where I block it. I guess I'm trying to get the light off of it, is what I should have said. Bro, that's some nice looking depth on there in camera. What the hell? That looks so good on camera. Let's get a little finger action in there. Oh yeah. Fingers are great blenders. Do I have any cavities? New angle? How does this work? Is this a better angle? I feel like you guys can maybe see the, the painting a bit better. We want a very light green i might bring in some yellows here just to really give it a kick and add some a little bit of saturation back into there the yellow is a bit dark and we'll go with it maybe too much yellow i think it also doesn't help that i think i had a bit of purple and purple's dark as shit so it just hogs it all up this got out of control this is so far out of control there's too much of it I'm trying to spread it and so I'm Ooh, you guys can you guys can actually see a little bit now. Okay, that might be a bit too yellow. All right, what do we want to do? You know what? Let's go crazy. Told you I went crazy. There we go. Cool, that worked out, ish, for the most part, I would say. I always prefer the look of the one-year badge or the one I have an app, but I don't know that. What kind of paints are you using? Uh, right now, they're just some like kind of cheap craft paints that you probably use when you're a kid from Apple Barrel. I just wanted something a bit more liquidy, a little bit more liquidy than I initially meant, but, or wanted, but it's all right. All right, let's add a new shape. I want another circle somewhere, big circle coming in. bigger circle not enough paint no really scoop okay let's try this again <sighs> okay uh there we go fuck there we go <laughs> yeah there's so much paint in this still let's take it somewhere what if we Okay, yeah, there's no paint in here anymore. I kinda wanna do another circle somewhere. Where's it feeling like they need a circle? I feel like a, nah. Small circle in over, new idea. Let's paint in this square. Square. You struggling? In what way am I struggling? Like, do you think about the things you say or do you just say dog shit the whole entire time hoping one of it sticks and maybe someone like actually gives you attention like I'm doing now? Did you get a little boner from just like some pathetic attention from a dog shit remark you made? In what fucking way am I struggling to do anything? The whole point of this painting is to not struggle. No matter what I do, isn't a struggle. And it's so weird how some irrelevant dumb fuck 
that's just sitting in a chat thinks he knows what anyone else is up to when in himself has no life experience or herself. I don't really give a fuck what you are, if I'm going to be honest, though. You could be a dog for all I care, and I tell you to sniff my fucking shit. So, sniff my fucking shit. Color in the background. I know you just can't really see it. Okay. Did that part. It barely even shows up. It looks like it's still white. So as an NFT, what, this? I might eventually, who knows? I have sort of just like stuck with three colors this whole time, but it's kind of working out. I feel like I picked a decent three colors for how much warmth is on here. I don't know what I want to do with this one. It really says fuck it, I'm gonna just put paint here. I mean, that's what this whole piece is all about is fuck it, I'm just gonna do this, you know? I look at it, I pick a spot. Once I find a spot that I feel like doing something to, I do something to it. Like right here, probably next time I paint, I'm gonna bring in some, some lighter whites or, or yellows because it feels very unbalanced. I don't think I mind some unbalance, which is why I just want a little bit here because I have a lot of green and then I have small greens over here. But I don't know what else I'm gonna do on it today, if anything. Uh, I can get you guys a slightly better camera angle maybe of it. There it is. Gradations really coming through. Yeah, it's coming along pretty decent. Especially if you go back to where it was like on the last time I pretty much worked on it. One second, one second, one second, one second. Pretty different. I would say it's changed quite a bit. What do you guys think? Before and after. This one's kind of blurry, but you just have to deal with it. It's unfinished, unreleased. I have two like face portraits I want to do. Oh yeah, I also, uh, I don't know if you guys will like will like this as much as I thought it was kind of interesting. I've been keeping like all my, well not all my, but a lot of like the, uh, like my water, my uh, paper towel palettes, just cause they look kind of cool. I feel like it'd be fun to scan them in and then like do art over them. I could like, you know, just like take them in, almost treat them as if uh, it was an abstract work and then find structure in them somehow. That could be pretty cool. Like this one's, this one's crazy, but they all have like very different feels to it you know like this one is just you can tell this piece of paper got really wet i don't know this one's a bit more boring but you know, it's still kind of interesting this was like one of the early ones you know this one's a lot of blue this one's a bunch of different colors i wanted to see if these are better for like my paints maybe have them not stick to as much move around a bit more not dry out didn't really work i just want to keep it so i can eventually maybe scan them in and just draw over them Draw it with a black marker. Well, I'd probably do it digitally. I don't want to do it uh, in real life. I just want to sell everything I do as an NFT at the moment. I want to dip my toes into it a little bit. That was a good painting though, overall. Uh, for if you just got here, we already did paint. Check out the, the bad photo. You're really seeing mostly what we did. We also... We also did a lot of this color over here. Brought in, took out some of the white background. I think taking out that white background helped a ton. Cause like that right side already feels a little bit more like closed off while the left side still feels pretty tight. I actually, I wanna show you guys something else that I've been doing with. Maybe this will help some of uh, some other artists out there. So I have these two closer to portrait paintings. Uh, I have like these two, which are like pretty kind of similar portraits, but like same shape. But I wanna do like a portrait somehow in that in that style but what i found and is very helpful a lot smaller of a canvas but i have this this thing from a poster here let me which is like a see-through little thing from a poster that i've been painting on is this painting so what i did is i took that plastic thing that's in front of it and then i have a clear thing that i can try out different faces and styles on pretty cool. I don't know how you would transfer it, but at least give you an idea of what you're going for and sort of where you want to place it. Boom. Works on both. Look, this guy has a big ring on his head. That's cool. Yeah. Like I said, it's not done yet, but this is what, this is the, what we got to. Very colorful. So looks awesome. Be work in progress. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might try to make that into a YouTube video, but I have no idea if I actually want to because I didn't actually finish anything.